Hi, my name is Carolyn, and this is going to be my first video on Dooney and Burke bags. Now, I can already tell <laughs> that my head is too low, so let me fix this a little bit, see if that helps. That helps a little bit. Um, first, I want to say that um, I decided, because this is my first video, that I would do a spring video about the spring Dooney and Burks, the ones that I have bought. And actually I've bought one too many anyway. Um, anyhow, but before I do that, I want to say one thing. I got, it's only been like in the last year that I've been addicted to Dooney and Burke. So, and I mean, I'm really addicted. It's totally art and I love their bags. And the first bag I happened to buy, I just want to, this isn't a spring bag, but the first bag I happened to buy was off of eBay, and it's a black Florentine satchel, and sometime, I know you guys know all about these, but I just couldn't believe how beautiful it was when I got it. So anyway, I'll put that down, and what I'm going to do is start today with a patent leather bag by Dooney and Burke, and it's going to be bubble gum, and it's going to be drawstring. And there's my Dooney and Burke little bag to cover over the bag to make sure it doesn't get dusty, a dust cover. And this is, you know what, I don't know the name, but this is the bubble gum in the drawstring with, um, I believe it's Vaquetta leather, and it's not not treated. Um, I think you can most certainly correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm probably going to be wrong about a lot of things. But anyway, I they had a really good price on these with I Love Duty. So I actually bought, actually bought four. <laughs> um, and I should have had them lined up, but I want to make this a short video. But anyway, so this is the Duny and Burke bubble gum and it has feet with the same leather uh, trim in the same leather two tassels in the front and the tassels close and open really easily and the bag oh I do have something in the bag didn't know that but the bag <laughs> is lined in blue and I guess it has what y'all would typically call the typical Dooney and Burke setup um, yeah, it has, you know, two open slip pockets in the front and a zipper compartment and then like a large compartment for your cell phone. So, and I've worn this a few times. And one, I have to mention, I believe, I think, I, ooh, it might have been, um, uh, she goes by the name of Pe Pecan Beauty. Um, ooh, I think. Um, she recommended uh, getting a hole punch or a leather punch uh, to make the straps fit because because I'm not tall and um, I was like doubling them over and all that kind of junk. Anyway, I, I went to um, I went to Michael's and bought one. It's just a leather punch and punch some more holes in so that the bag fits the way I want it to fit. And actually, I've done that to a good deal of my Dooney and Burke bags. And it's worked out well for me. So that's just, that was a tip that somebody gave because I've watched all you guys. Mrs. Q, um, uh, Pursuit of Happiness, all of you. So I really appreciate uh, the videos. And um, maybe like tomorrow, instead of just having the one bag, uh, I'll have the other three just so you can see the colors in case you were wondering or something like that. You all have a good evening. Bye-bye.